stitching you in more. This is episode 20. Yay, finally hit 20. I am Amanda, also known as Little Panda 518 on Ravelry and Instagram. And today I have a super duper special guest. Would you like to introduce yourself? I'm known as Dino Nana on Facebook. Also known as my Marmy. She came to visit for my week. And we'll talk a little bit about that later. And the little black thing you see moving down here, if you can, is our production assistant for the day. So let's see, where shall we get started? What we're working on. Um, you want to go first since you're kind of... Oh, oh, I'm getting real good at, at frog and stuff. Mom's hitting the frog pond, so I will reach out of frame for a second. So, I have my Vigeant by Martina Bain whole lot of love but it has grown a little bit since y'all have seen it so kind of get it going here it's purple so it's probably gonna be really hard for y'all to see on camera but I've got a nice little bit going um, I've been watching the knitting expat podcast with Mina and hers she completely blew me out of the water because she started this like four weeks after I did and hers is done but I'm getting there and of course the yarn is hanging out in my adorable yarnet, and I finally got my plug. Got it sent to me, that way if I do drop it, it's not gonna come apart by any chance. And it's living in my awesome Rainstorm Studios bag. Absolutely love that one. Um, my knitting projects, you guys haven't seen me in a while because knitting has kind of been on the back burner the last month, because I'm pretty sure it's been a month since I've recorded. So let's see, next thing I have on the needles is, I don't think you guys have maybe seen this one. If you have, um, I ripped it out and started again. So this is the Orchid Cowl. I don't remember who by, but it's on my project page. And I ripped it out because I made a mistake in the lacy part and I can't hold it without dropping it. So yeah, not that far in. I recast this on after September 10th. That way this is my first project cast on for the pigskin party hosted by Down Cellar Studio. So yeah, about two inches into the orchid cowl. This is the first project I have ever had to do a provisional cast on for. So that was fun. So I did the crochet provisional cast on. Is that one that you've done before? No, it isn't. Okay something totally new to me. I had to YouTube it, but first project for the pigskin party. Um, I have one other thing on the needles, so are you kind of at a spot where you can talk and I'll finish my last one? Okay. What's the... And I am working on a lacy shawl. It's a pattern off the back of the label, right? Yes. And this is Karen Simply, Simply Soft. Soft. And it's the paints. Does it have the colorway on there? Uh, I think it'd be up here, probably. I think it's the colorway Old Heritage. And if I remember correctly, I believe the color is discontinued. But I stocked Marmy up with quite a bit of it, so she should be good to go for a little while. Um. And that's all you're currently working on because you finished everything because, yeah, else. Yeah, I finished week. everything else. She's been the finishing queen this week. Um, my other project that I have on my, ba on, on my bag, on my needles, words, I can't talk. I have my needles tangled everywhere, of course. What would knitting be without tangled needles? I have my gummy bear socks on the needles. And I do say socks because I have a half finished object. Oh, gotta come in the camera a little bit, trying to hang out on the outside of the camera. So I have this sock all the way done. It's just a straight stockinette, my 64 stitch with the fish slips kiss heel. And I did about two inches or so of ribbing. I was hoping to finish the sock and not have a purple stripe on the back. Well, I ended up with purple, but that's okay. And this one, it's I'm on the 10th color repeat. So once I finish this color, I will be at the heel for this sock. So 
I almost have another pair of socks off the needles. And this is the Gummy Bear by Felici from Knit Picks. And it is living in my awesome knot bag by the amazing Sue from Two Tangled Skeins podcast. And I believe it's Two Tangled CA is her Etsy shop. So go find her, go find her awesome knot bags. So that is all we have on the needles and on the, well, wait, no. Production assistant is kind of hanging out in uh, my other one. So I'm ready for fall, I'm ready for winter. So that means a new crochet blanket that's really big and it's the Bernat Baby Blanket. Well, it's not baby. It's the Bernat Blanket Yarn. I'm using my P-Hook, which is an 11.5. And I'm just double crocheting until my heart's content. So I have one more ball left. And then I'm going to call the, bank, the blanket complete. So I will give our production assistant her little bed back because she loves this yarn. And every time I go to work on it, she has to be next to me on the couch. So that brings us to finished objects. You want to go first since you have yours pulled out? And I will uh, bring my stuff up. Oh, what was this one called? Mom's going to look for I'm the real. name of the pattern real quick. This is out of a monthly kit that you get in the mail, isn't it? Yes. This is from a hook and needle uh, kit from Annie's. And this happens to be a set of scarves. And I made the infinity scarf. And hold it up right there. You want to talk about it and I'll see if I can. I'm further away from the camera than normal so we can both fit in so I don't know how well y'all will be able to see it but it does have little eyelet rows. There we go. If I hold it above the window, let's see. There we go. You can see the light through the eyelets. So mom started and finished that while she was here. Yes. So she... And this was done with that Bichelle yarn that I will personally never work with again. And I all I did either. was ball it up for mom. <laughs> So the, the rest of that may live in the stash forever. So the only other finished items that I have are Hexi Puffs. Oh, I do have one more, I just don't have it with me. So I um, finally dug into my minis. So I have two Hexies made out of the Cuppy Cakes yarn, Sparkles, Good vs. Evil. I believe this is a Patton's Croy. Hang on, I stuck the tag in the middle because I knew I was going to forget. This is Patton Croy Sock Fern Rouge Jacquard. So, I had never worked with Patton's Croy before. Not too shabby. I just bought more of it to make a friend a pair of socks. Um, if you watch the podcast, you probably know who you are because we spoke in depth about those. And then, of course, we have Minnie and Mickey, which these are most, these are Minnie's from Mandy Pinecone and um, Tanya, who is Celestia 22, I believe. They are both regulars in the VKNs that I hang out with on pretty much a daily basis. And this one is Rainbow Felici from Knit Picks. And then... Since you guys have seen me last, I finished Marmy socks and we left them in the other room because she's been wearing them pretty often this week while she's here. So do you like your socks? I love my socks. They're super comfy with the bamboo. Nice and soft. <laughs> I knew she would love them. And Marmy gets socks because she's special. And my hexies and my minis are living See if I can do this without dumping them all over my lap. I have lots and lots more minis to go because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need like 500 hexies to make a blanket because I'm crazy like that. But this is hanging out in my box bag that Mandy made me because she's awesome. So I think that's all we've gotten finished. Um, looking over there, 
My sweater still hasn't been blocked, so it still doesn't have buttons. I will eventually get around to blocking it. Maybe once these 100 degree days actually go away and stay away, because I'm pretty sure we're back, we've been back in the 90s this week. Um, high 80s, low 90s. It's almost the end of September, y'all. So I guess that brings us to stash enhancement, which I have a teensy bit. Where'd the bag go? Sorry, out of frame again. Okay, I think I shoved it in this bag. Oh, I didn't show this one off. This one is also Rainstorm Studios. If you can't tell, I love her bags. So I have my awesome stash enhancement hanging out in here. And I'm pretty sure I got this after I recorded last because Rachel's awesome. Let's see if I can hold that up there a little bit. This is a gradient die from Rachel who is Love Knots on Ravelry and Etsy. Her yarn is awesome and it is a gray to teal to purple gradient on Sparkle because Sparkle is awesome. I haven't quite figured out what this is going to be but I know it's going to be a shawl. I just haven't figured out which shawl. And then, not technically stash, but it is knitting related. I got the best shoes in the entire world. So I was watching Nerd Girl Knits, I believe. It's a mother-daughter podcast. If you haven't watched it, hop on over and watch it because they're awesome. And um, Katie was showing off some shoes that she got and I absolutely fell in love with them. And it was an exciting day for me because I had found out that I had a new job. So I went out and bought myself the Clear Converse. And I wore them on my last day of work and got compliments from everybody that came to say bye to me. And I have worn them to the store. Yes, I'm crazy and it's 90 degrees and I was wearing wool socks just to wear my clear converse shoes well you have so. to be able to see the socks of course and like i'm now that i'm like not scared of socks anymore and completely on a sock um kick i'm gonna have lots of socks to wear this winter because i almost have my third pair for myself off the needles so best purchase ever and then i also am finally a real podcaster because i got a sock blocker I brought it in here because I was going to put mom's sock on it and then I totally forgot to remind her to bring them because I'm pretty sure they're in her suitcase already. Uh huh. Because unfortunately my mommy has to go home tomorrow and I don't want her to go home at all. I want to kidnap her. So that's kind of our nitty stuff. Um, kind of a little shop update, just a little bit. I posted a ton of fabric samples in the Etsy shop and I figured that way people can pick what size bag they want I'll make it and ship it out so go visit the Etsy shop it's stitched together 4g um, would love to see you over there I will have a code coming up within the next week or two for Halloween I've got five different Halloween fabrics so grab them before they're gone um, so let's see, question time. So when did you start knitting and why? Oh, I started knitting about 37 years ago, just because of boredom. I lived up near Chicago and we had horrendous snowstorms. <laughs> and when you have five brothers at home and you're the only girl, you gotta have something for the nerves. Totally makes sense. Marmy's the one that taught me about 20 years ago, I think. I think it I was, believe so. I think it was about 20 years, which is kind of a scary thought to think that it's been that long. Um, trying to think. I haven't had any questions in the Ravelry group. I owe you guys a drawing for a winner of the 100 member giveaway. And I don't have any of the prizes next to me, so I will pop in a picture. Where did I throw my phone? Alright, so bear with me. We're going to have to do this because I just totally remembered. Because you guys probably want some prizes. So let me pull up Ravelry real quick. 
And we'll pop over into the form and see how many entries we have. There we go. And it was kind of funny because while this is loading, tell you a little bit of a funny story. So you know how normally prize threads are no chatter? Yeah, yours truly forgot what thread she was in. I chattered in my own thread that I said no chatter. But thank y'all for listening to my directions, even though I can't listen to my own directions. All right, so pulling this up, we have 30 and 29 entries. Well, I think I had to delete two of my own comments, so 27 entries. So now I'm gonna pop on over to random.org, open a new tab here. We're gonna go to random.org. Sorry, should have had all this pulled up before. All right, so we are gonna go through two through 30 because that's how Rev works. Let's see, Mom, you want the honors of hitting? Well, here, let's show if you guys can see it. Two to 30. You wanna have the honors of hitting the generate button? And result is number 20. I don't know if you guys can read the screen because I can't see the screen on my camera. So now we will pop back on over to Ravelry. And apparently it didn't open a new tab, so I have to go back into this. So now we are gonna go find entry number 20. Yep. And I believe that is on page one. Scrolling down. Keep on scrolling. 20. 20 is Susan Joy 1. She posted her picture of a little hat and a headband for a little girl that are absolutely adorable. So congrats Susan Joy 1 for being the winner of the my 100 member giveaway. It is a skein of yarn from Love Knots. Um, I think it, it's over there, but I'll post a picture of it at the beginning of this. It's some double pointed needles from a amazing viewer. Um, we've got stitch markers from the amazing Sue of Two Tangled Skeins. And then we have two Ravelry downloadable patterns for $5 a piece. So congrats on that. Um, I kind of think that's it. Kind of short, sweet. I think we're going to go finish enjoying spending the rest of the evening together before I sadly have to send her home tomorrow and I think we're gonna enjoy the evening by making some pizza bread and sitting down and watching the hogs game so whoop hit suey and with that I'm gonna say keep on stitching y'all